Hello guys, this is Tom the American Guy in Germany. Let's talk about some Autobahn fun facts. So 70% is speed limit free. There is an advisory speed limit of 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour. You can see the fatality rate is 1.74 persons per 1 million kilometers traveled compared to 3.38 in the States. The Autobahn is really well maintained. They use antifreeze concrete so that it doesn't crack in the winter. And there's no tolls, which is awesome. If you compare it to Italy or Austria, they do charge tolls. And in Germany, it's different. The roads are paid for by the fuel and car taxes. So let's talk about merging onto the freeway. Use the acceleration lane to get quickly up to the speed of traffic. Turn on your blinker early and keep an eye on traffic. And as the merging vehicle, you have to find a proper gap. Others are not allowed to break and disrupt the flow of traffic to let you on. Check your blind spot, find a proper gap and enter the flow of traffic. Gotta stay on the right in case there is no gap and make sure not to cross any solid lines. So one important rule on the freeway is, or on the Autobahn, you have to stay on the right. That is called the Rexfahrgebot. So rule one, you have to drive as far to the right as possible, especially when getting passed up, or if you're on a hilltop, in a curve, or in foggy conditions. Rule number two, the left lane can only be used to pass by other vehicles. Afterwards, the driver has to get back into the right lane. There is an exception to this if the next opportunity to pass somebody is approaching. Rule number three, the middle lane can be used continuously if one or more slower cars are occupying the right lane. This is to avoid building lines of cars. Rule number four, if, however, the right lane is clear for more than 20 seconds, then one must switch back into the right lane. Here you can see a digital speed limit. These change based on the weather conditions and the traffic conditions. So by now, I probably should have gotten into the right lane, but on the other hand, this truck is coming up here, so I stayed in the middle lane. If there's a lot of space and a lot of time now to get into the right lane, then I should get into the right lane. But of course you can't pass somebody up in the right lane. So that means that this white car right here, I have to slow down, I can't pass it up on the right. Oh, here by the way, you see these speed limits with the slashes through them, that means that the previous speed limit is no longer valid. You can go faster. Okay, rules for passing on the Autobahn. Check, set your signal, look over your shoulder, and check your blind spot. When clear, quickly pass up the other vehicle and get back to the right lane once you see the pass car in your rear view mirror, according to the drive right rule. Passing can only be done on the left. Okay, I can see some transporters coming up here, so I'm going to switch to the middle lane. It's 
See ya. See ya. Now I'm going to have to get back into the middle lane. I could have done that a little more quickly, actually. That beamer's going pretty quick. Sometimes you get passed up with cars going like 250 kilometers an hour. It's crazy. So soon I'm coming up to my exit, I'm going to have to get into the right lane. Upon exiting, there's also some things to be aware of. Get in the right lane in time to exit. You want to set your signal 300 meters before exiting. And you're not allowed to start braking until you reach the deceleration lane. Alright, that's about it for our drive today. Thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please make sure to give this video a like and a comment. Write whatever you would like about driving on the Autobahn. Have you done it before? How fast did you go? What do you think about driving on the Autobahn compared to the US interstate? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, there's just one more thing that I wanted to add to this video at the end. I thought about, okay, I talked about all the rules on the Autobahn, but I didn't talk about what I think of the Autobahn compared to the US interstate. And I have to tell you, when I get back to the States for a visit, oh, it's just a relief. I love driving in America because I can just sit back, put on the cruise control, and just cruise on the highway. Everybody's going about the same speed. Sometimes you got somebody who kind of rides your butt a little bit, but for the most part, the people just kind of flow at the same rate. And for me, that is much less stressful than having to be constantly looking up my rear view mirror. Uh oh, is somebody else coming to ride my butt? Is there somebody coming at 250 kilometers an hour and wants to pass me up? Um, and you know, on the Autobahn, you've got the really slow, Semi trucks on the right, I'm kind of in the middle, always passing those cars up. And on the left, I have the really fast BMWs and Mercedes and everything else, just going balls to the wall. So it's much less stressful, in my opinion, to drive in the States. Okay, I come from Wisconsin, and there's much less traffic there compared to, let's say, California. But in my experience, the US interstate is a much more stress-free experience. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.